Hey everybody, it's Eddie Oltec. I do have a Blue Yeti Nano microphone that just got bricked because you did the firmware update from the manufacturer recommended G-Hub and you got the yellow ring or orange ring of death there. Well, it just happened to me, guys. And this microphone was working perfectly for the past two years out of the manufacturer warranty time frame. So I'm stuck having to figure this out myself just like you are. And I'm going to tell you how I got it fixed. So on the original PC where you installed G-Hub, make sure to uninstall it completely. Get rid of that guy 100%. And you have to get rid of every instance of it. For those of you that don't know how to do this, Logitech does have it listed on their website how, and all you got to do is follow the instructions. You got to show hidden files. You got to delete the actual file that holds the software. And you do this after you've uninstalled it from the control panel. But if that seems like too much trouble and you have access to another PC, you can do a brand new install of a different software, which will help you get this fixed. The software you need is Blue Sherpa, and it is also provided by Blue Yeti and Logitech. So don't worry, this isn't some third party unknown software. It is a clean software. You're going to go ahead and download that right here on the download button and you're going to install it. But before you install it, let me tell you that there is something you need to do. On the fresh PC or the PC that you're installing it in, if you fix the situation, meaning you've deleted the G hub and all the instances of it, you're going to have to go ahead and change your resolution to 1024 by 768 or the software will not install. Don't ask me why, but this just leads me to believe that G hub and this software is written extremely poorly. And that's the reason why everything's getting bricked. After you've gone ahead and downloaded the software and you've installed it, now you can go ahead and see if your microphone is being noticed by the software. Mine was not, even though this is a new PC completely clean of any software from this manufacturer, it still didn't see it. So here's the next step you need to take. You want to go ahead and plug your microphone back in with a USB cable into your computer. You want to make sure that it pops up in the device manager. And when you check your device manager, you will see something listed as DFU with a bunch of other information in front of it. Now, if your microphone is in DFU mode, we can get this fixed up. So how do you make sure it's your microphone that's in DFU mode and not another device? Well, we'll go ahead and unplug this USB, plug it back in. And if that D if that device that's in DFU mode disappears and reappears when you did that, then it means it's your microphone. Once you've identified that it is in DFU mode, here's the steps to follow. If your microphone is not recognized by device manager in DFU mode, try the following two button technique a few times. That's what I had to do before mine popped up in device manager. You need to press this button, the front button that's lit up in yellow or orange and that back button simultaneously press and hold and don't let go as you press and hold pull the usb out wait 30 seconds plug it back in that right there will flash red slowly at first and then it will speed up and then come back to the yellow color if it is then noticed by your PC, you're in good shape. If it doesn't, you need to go to the next step. The next step for me was to reboot my computer with it plugged in just like that. I rebooted my PC and all of a sudden, there you go, it sees the microphone. And now I can apply the firmware update that will hopefully bring it to life. You'll notice that it is confirming that the microphone at this point is bricked as it says it's on update version 00 and it's going to update it to version 4.5 so we're going to go ahead and do that right now and hit update now and i hope this fixes my microphone guys oh my gosh it seems to have fixed it you know how i know look at that right there nice and green guys I just know this is going to help somebody, and if it helped you or you enjoyed the content, please give me a like, subscribe, and drop some comments in there. Blue, Logitech, you guys should be ashamed of yourself for the horrible writing of these pieces of software. Your devices are excellent, but these firmware updates shouldn't be bricking 
devices. And worst yet, your chatbots and your support is difficult to go through. I had to go through multiple forums with people going through the same problem to finally put things together to figure out how to do this. This is why I made this video and I really hope it helps anybody in my same situation and saves them time because this was a horrible situation. I thought I was dead in the water.